All right, go ahead and RSVP to company party. Check. Go ahead and schedule one on with Jason. Check. And watch cat videos till 3 a.m. so I can't even work in the morning. Check. Nearly every organization uses a different system for tracking their to-do lists. Martha, she uses a good old journal and will never miss a beat. Tom keeps track of everything in his calendar. Frank, he uses Trello and Sue, Wonderlist, I think? These are all great tools, except when you need to work together. We may not be able to get everyone in the world on the same platform, but we can make sure that we are all unified internally. Microsoft has made leaps and bounds creating a to-do list app that just works. We happen to be using it here, and we've really liked the results. So we wanted to share it with you all and see what you think. Step one, how to access it. That's one of the things I like about this app. There's a desktop application that you can use. You can have it on your phone, iOS or Android, or you can go to portal.office365.com and access it right in a web browser. The very primary function of all of this is to add a to-do, add a task, and make sure that you can organize them. So we're in, and for me, I wanna start planning up a party that I'm gonna throw because it's the holiday season. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta add the task. I gotta say, go grocery shopping. So I come down here, uh, and in the little thing where it says add task, I hit that and then I hit enter and it adds there. I have this here and I've got all sorts of stuff I can do. I can hit add to my day. I can tell it to remind me to go grocery shopping. I can add a due date for the grocery shopping. If the party's on the 15th, I gotta make sure I go by the 14th because anything worth cooking takes overnight because you gotta make it with love. And then uh, you could set repeat. I don't necessarily need to do that, but if this was just like regular shopping, I may say that I, you know, I need to go shopping every two weeks or something like that. Uh, I might assign it to a roommate or if I have some people helping me plan parties. I could uh, assign some tasks out. Uh, I could even add a file if I had like a specific, you know, grocery list or something like that. Uh, another way that you could do grocery lists, for example, though, is you could go add step, and this will add subtasks. So I might say something like buy turkey, buy potatoes, gravy, which is really all you need for any party are these uh, these things. And I can see it's showing up right here. I've got O out of three done. So if I select this, uh, I've got these subtasks that kind of show up as a list, and as I'm checking them off. Um, we're basically like working our way through a plan for something. If you come up over the task and you right click, it's gonna give you some similar options. Um, so like if you have like a whole list of tasks, it might you might not wanna click on each one and come over here, that can take a lot of time. So you can right click, um, you know, add it to your day, which kind of puts it right at the top of your priority list, helps you plan some stuff out. Market is really important, which as you can see over on the left hand side here, there's these different buckets that things fall into. So just all really quick ways of help, uh, helping you stay organized, which is great. So Microsoft To Do helps keep uh, things organized by using what are called lists. And lists can be pretty powerful. Um, so something to keep in mind is no matter what task exists where, uh, you can always come into this thing that says tasks and it's all gonna show up right in here. Um, that's gonna be everything from all these different lists. But what you can do with these lists is you can say things like, you know, things to do monthly, things to do weekly. You can make lists for any number of things uh, that you have to do. Grocery shopping is something that we wanted to do. You know, we right click, task to, task to do monthly. Then we may come in here, you know, have it repeat monthly. So kind of organizing these lists, I know for me I'm a very visual person, so having different themes set up for these lists could help me remember what things go where. So we can change different colors. If we come into the ellipses in the upper right, we can add different themes. If we have like these nice ferns back there, uh, you know, things to do monthly, you can add an emoji up here in the upper right. Just add a little calendar guy. What we have over here is the plan view, and this is gonna show you any task that has a due date in chronological order. So you can kind of, you know, show if it's way out and then it shows you later, um, you know, kind of breaks down by week and then tells you what's the most important because it's uh, it's due the soonest. Over is assigned to you. This is stuff that has been assigned to you by somebody else. So this has been assigned to me from another minion as we are working on our world domination scheme. It's happening. So if I wanted to share my things to do monthly list with somebody, what I could do is I could right click it uh, and I can hit share list. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create an invitation link um, which is gonna show up here. I can copy the link. And then Becca's gonna be able to see it. And it looks like she showed me some stuff too, so let's see what we got going on. Join list. Tech riffs. Cool. 
Something else that you may be used to because Outlook has been doing this for a super long time is flagging your emails to check them out later because they're super important. There's also a flagged email section. It looks like I have a couple in here. And this is basically stuff that I have to make sure that I get back to. So it shows you the email, you can open it in Outlook, um, and it kind of gives you a due date. You can add it to repeat. It basically gives you all the options of a task, which is awesome. Okay, so one of my favorite features of to do is the My Day View. Now, you can kind of get in the habit at the beginning of your day to start putting stuff in here. Nothing's going to show up automatically. Um, you can click the little light bulb up in the upper right, it'll give you some suggestions about some stuff that you can add. You know, you can add it right from here. Um, or, you know, if you're going into your planned stuff or stuff that's assigned to you because you know that this might be some of the more important things, so you can flag emails, um, you know, um, you can do that. Also, right clicking on anything, add to my day, or like we looked at before, if you click on it, it brings up this view over here on the right, uh, add to my day, and it's gonna start showing up. And so what this basically allows you to do is take your giant task list of all the stuff that you have to do and say like, hey, this is what I got accomplished today to feel successful. We're pretty impressed with Microsoft's option here. So why not give it a try yourself and then come back and let us know what you think. Also, make sure to follow us on your favorite social. It makes for a healthy part of your tech superhero breakfast. Until next time, I'm Killian Smith. Take it easy.